Hi, question number four. A curve has equation y is equal to e to the power minus 3x tan x. Find the x coordinates of the stationary point on the curve in the interval minus half pi less than x minus, I mean less than half pi. Give your answers correct to three decimal places. Okay, so here is the curve. Now we have two variables here and they are multiplied. Therefore we're going to be using product and we're going to differentiate the curve to find the x, the uh, coordinates of the stationary points to three decimal places. Now we can call u is equal to e to the power minus 3x and v is equal to tan of x. So du by dx you should know is equal to minus 3e to the power minus 3x and therefore dv by dx is going to be 6 squared x. V du by dx plus u dv by dx equal to dy by dx. This is product rule. Therefore, dy by dx is equal to v du by dx plus u dv by dx or u dv by dx. So u dv by dx e to the power minus 3x times sec square x plus v du by dx minus 3 e to the power minus 3x times tan x. Now then, what is common? At stationary points, what happens? dy by dx equal to 0. Therefore, we can equate this to 0. e to the power minus 3x is common. And inside what we got is sec squared x minus 3 tan of x. And this can come on that side, and therefore it disappears. We're left with sec squared x minus 3 tan x is equal to 0. What is sec squared x? Okay, now um, sec squared x you should know is equal to tan square x plus 1. Therefore, we're going to put this as tan square x, okay, minus 3 tan of x plus 1 is equal to 0. So, do we have a, do we have a, I mean, no, we can't. I mean, factor? No, no, we can't. We need to give the answer to three decimal places. Okay, that's a key point here. So maybe we can say t squared minus 3t plus 1 is equal to 0. And use the formula for quadratic equation. So t is going to be minus 3, minus 3 means plus 3, plus or minus the root of minus 3 to the square minus 4 times a times c. A is 1, C is 1. So divided by 2A, 2 times 1. T is going to be 3 plus or minus 9 minus 4 is root of 5. All divided by 2. Therefore, T is going to be 3 plus root 5 over 2. Okay, so if you do that in your calculator, you're going to end up with 2.618. Or T can be equal to um, 0.38. Two. Now, from here, we can say that tan of x is equal to 2.618 and tan of x is equal to 0.382. Check that out in the calculator. Inverse tan of 2.61 is going to give you 1.2059 and so on. And here, you're going to get, let me just check it out here. Right, so inverse tan of 0 0.382, 0 0.36489 and so on, 0 0.36489 and so on. We need to give, the, to give our answer to three decimal places. Therefore, the x coordinates is going to be of the stationary point 1.206 or x, well, not necessarily or, it can be n because we have two coordinates. Okay, so 0 0.365. Let's write this n. Okay, so here we are, and these two are between the limits minus half pi to half pi. Okay, so here we are for the question number five taken from October 2009, 11 Maths HSC Paper 3.